So my wife says I do my best work standing up. I think she's talking about the dishes. But I also like to stand at the helm of this redesigned Crestliner 1860 Retriever center console. This is an all-welded, rugged aluminum boat designed for the sportsman who wants to hunt, fish, trap, or do just about anything else on the water. So this Retriever is a boat of a different color. In fact, this is one of three camouflage patterns that are available on the boat. You can also get it in standard green and several other colors. So when it redesigned this boat, Crestliner relocated the live well from the deck up here to the casting platform. This new well is 23 gallons. That's twice the size of the old one. Because there's no well here now, it's easier to walk around the console or you can mount your own cooler here. Now this retriever model is 18 feet long with a generous beam of 7 feet 1 inch. You've got a lot of room back here in the aft casting platform. Now we removed the aft fishing seat so you can see that we've got a hatch here to the bilge so you have good service access to the battery and pumps. Now this boat used to come with a portable fuel tank but Crestliners added a built-in tank in the redesign with a fill over here to port. Now this 52 quart cooler works great as a seat for me but it's not adjustable. Hey, we're here in Minnesota today to take a look at the redesigned Crestliner 1860 Retriever Center Console. We're here with Christine Bush from Crestliner. And Christine, when we walked down the dock, first thing I noticed about this boat was the nice curve that you've added to this new console mm -hmm. and the vertical rod holders on the side. Well, Christine, what are some of the other new features of the console? We've added a drink holder to the top of the console as well as providing a flush mount electronic space up to five inches. If you want a larger fish finder, you can still mount one on the top of the console. And the console itself was raised to improve the ergonomics while standing or seated. So like all Crestliner boats, this retriever is manufactured with all welded construction of durable aluminum. It's a mod V bottom with three and a half degrees of dead rise. So it's not going to carve turns like a V-bottom, but it'll really get you back in the marsh. So here's another construction feature we really like on the Retriever. To stiffen the hull, Crestliner adds vertical ribs to the hull sides, but that would make it difficult to mount accessories here. So they've added this aluminum panel to give you a flat surface for these rod holders or anything else you want to put here. So I think most guys who buy a boat like this want to outfit it for their specific needs. This Crestliner really lends itself to that. You've got a lot of room on the console to add electronics or anything else. You can order this boat with a durable spray-in non-skid liner. You can even add a, a shell box or a boarding ladder for your dog to this extruded aluminum lock track gunnel. I can tell you that the Retriever will get you home from the duck blind in time for dinner. With a Mercury 94 stroke on the transom, we ran 41.2 miles per hour at wide open throttle. We got our best fuel economy at 22.6 miles an hour, where we got 8.4 miles per gallon. You might be pulling a crankbait or a crab pot or the trigger on your shotgun, but this Crestliner Retriever is one boat and will keep the sportsman out all year long. <laughs>